This is my big bunny and today I'm going to show you how to make an indoor pen for your bunny. So this is where we're going to set up the bunny pen. We just have a hardwood floor but you could also do this on carpet. Next I placed down an old shower curtain to protect your floor. You can also use an old sheet of linoleum, something that's going to protect the floor or carpet from any moisture or water spilling. I put down the carpet. This one's about four feet by six feet. It goes directly on top of the shower curtain or whatever you're using to protect your floor. If it's a carpet, you might want to use linoleum. You can use the old shower curtain, uh, whatever works for you. And this is a low pile carpet. My rabbit chews a lot. So I, this is a very low one um, so she doesn't chew up the carpet. The next step is to put the pen in. This is an eight panel pen and it just sits right on top of the carpet. You can see I have the water bottle attached and then I have the basket for hay with little zip cords attached to the side. The great thing about the pen is that it's adjustable. This, In this view I close the pen so in the at night time or whatever I want I close the pen to keep my bunny in and other times I keep it open so she can run around and play as much as she wants. Next I added the litter box. It's closer to the, the basket where I fill with hay and the water bottle where she does more for eating and drinking so she can use her litter box. I was able to tie mine to the side of the pen because I have such a large bunny she likes to move it around. If you have a smaller bunny it may not be a problem and you could just you know put the litter box wherever you want it. Next I recommend adding a perch. This one has a cool bunny design on it and this one was designed for bunny rabbits so it's completely safe for them to chew on. So just make sure it's something safe for bunnies to chew and you can see the bunnies really like in her perch and it's also a hiding space for her. Here I added some tubes for her to crawl through and chew on just you could pick out different sizes based on the size of your bunny. So I have this 10, 10 inch quick crete. It's a concrete tube. You could get at Home Depot, relatively inexpensive. And this one I cut in half so she has two separate tubes to crawl through. But get the size that's appropriate for your bunny. And I also added the water bowl underneath the water bottle. My bunny's a little particular. Sometimes she likes the bowl and sometimes she likes the bottle. And to fill out the rabbit pen, I gave her some old cardboard egg cartons, um, a long tube of um, paper that came from something that she likes to chew on, and an old oatmeal container. I, cut, I took off the bottom, I cut out the bottom and the top so she can chew on that. So she has a lot of things to chew on. I'd recommend rotating out the different chewables. Like one week you can do the cardboard egg cartons another week the tubes, whatever it takes to keep your bunny interested and active. Finally I added a safe plastic slinky, a plastic wiffle ball, and some apple tree branches for her to chew on. As you could, If you can see in this video she chewed off a lot of the bark but this helps um, keep your rabbit mentally active and helps them with the urge to chew. Some rabbits like to chew more than others so I give my bunny um, lots of variety. So I hope this helps you set up your pen for your indoor bunny. And I'd like to hear what other ideas people have out there. Every, bunny's a, every bunny is a little bit different, so they might have different preferences for their pen setup. Good luck.